Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are hopping in and we are talking Green Shield Beetles. I know, they've been in the game for a little while, but there's been a whole bunch of them added and I want to talk one of the weapons that you get from them and why you need their parts. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over all the locations that I currently know that has Green Shield Beetles in them and then we're going to go over the weapon you can use their parts for. But, let's start off with the easiest location that everybody already knows. Alright guys, so we're here in the upper backyard area and over here is probably the most well-known location for a green shield beetle you can see him walking around right there that is him and we are right underneath the shed right back over here underneath where the praying mantis likes to hang out and this is the green shield beetle now this is the first one and it is just a glorified super stink bug is what it is and they do hit pretty hard they have a bunch of gas attacks that are pretty cool and there's an easy way to take these things out, to be completely honest. If you're good with your perfect blocking, and you can block their main attacks, if you have the Emptimologist badge, which is Gas Guard more or less, and you can just go ahead and block all their gas damage, if you could just go ahead and block them, they're actually not that hard to kill. They just added a whole bunch of them to the game, and with these guys, you also get Super Stink Sacks, but more about Super Stink Sacks in just a minute as well. But let's head on over to what I believe the next location of where it is easier to find a Green Shield Beetle before we get to the giant jumping puzzle at the end of the video. Alright guys, for this next location, it is actually a little bit harder to find because he does wander around this area, but here he is, the green shield beetle right here. Where I am on the map is actually right here in front of the wheelbarrow. Now, this guy is, well, he's a little bit more annoying to fight than the other one because of how much of everything else is all around him. From ladybirds to black ox beetles, this one's going to be more difficult for you to fight just because of the sheer number of creatures that are all around this one now thankfully the green shield beetles gas will slowly work down the health of everything else that's around you making it so it's easier for you to fight them sooner than later but nonetheless this is probably going to be one of the more difficult fights that you're going to have for a green shield beetle just because of the extra added you know bugs that are all around that want to kill you heck there's even a roly-poly over here as well but now we're going to go on to what is probably going to be the hardest to get to green shield beetle spot and then we'll talk about what awesome things you can make with their different parts all right guys to reach this next location you are going to need to get all the way up to the java matic if you guys don't know how to get to the java matic it is in the upper backyard area and there is going to be a power line that runs all the way up here there's one that runs up over to that side of the java matic from the power plug that's right there you can literally just run jump up and climb up but in order to get to these green shield bugs you need to go even higher so what you're going to do is you're going to climb all the way up this line that's right over here and when you're just about at the top you want to turn and look over to your right yes i do mean to your right you're looking to get up over here so your aim is this leaf that's right here this is the one that you want to get to so the best and highest position that you can get to to get yourself a running start and then you want to use a dandelion tuft in order to float your way over there all right, now you want to run and jump from here and glide right on over to the top of these leaves over here. Now, guys, make sure you save when you're doing this because this is like the 17th time that I've tried this. This jumping puzzle is extraordinarily finicky and you can fall very, very easily. Now, what you want to do is you want to jump up onto this leaf here, climb to the tippy top of this leaf that you can without falling down like I just did and make your way up to the top. Now, now the issue is, is if you actually fall down, you have to start all over again. So you have to jump on down over here and get all the way up to the top once again. And you guys know what they say, the 16th time is the charm. So let's go over here once again, floating towards the top of this leaf, going through and landing right here on its edge. Very good. Now we want to jump right here onto the center part of the leaf, walk up to the tippy top of this leaf that we can, and you want to run and jump up onto this stick, making your way here. Now be very careful because once you get underneath this stick, you want to jump over to your left. If you try to run up this, you will fall. So 
you run right over here to this outside edge and then you jump up on top of here and there you guys go there's more green shield beetles up here and yes i do mean plural when I say green shield beetles, I mean multiple green shield beetles. This is possibly the most difficult location to get to for green shield beetles, but nonetheless, they are up here and both of them will fight you at the same time. They don't really cause damage to each other, so, cause they're gas proof. So it's gonna be a tricky fight for you because these things do hit pretty hard if you're not, you know, damage resistant like I am. But nonetheless, it's still a fun little battle. This area up here probably Probably isn't the best location to build on but nonetheless you could go into photo mode and check out whatever is put right up here on the top of this workbench that's up here you got some good old drawings that were done by the tully's children so nonetheless guys that is the locations of the green shield beetles these guys are pretty cool looking and they do make some pretty cool items with their drops from killing them so let's go over and let's check that out right now all right, so before we go through, actually, let's take a quick pause to talk about what Green Shield Beetle's weaknesses are here. So we're going to go into our data tab, and we're going to scroll down and find our Green Shield bugs that are right here. And these Green Shield bugs are weak to stabbing and fresh so if you can make yourself say one of the new rust spears or really any spear in general even a rotten stinger spear that has some fresh damage put onto it for you you're going to be doing a lot more damage to a green shield bug in the game no matter what but right up here let's talk what we can get with the green shield bug parts so first of all you need five of them in order to make the green shield bug axe or the sour battle axe as i like to call it the sour battle axe is an awesome two-handed weapon that uses some sour globs green shield bugs and tough gunk to make its damage is already pretty high and it does swing pretty fast for a two-handed weapon and its stun factor is up there quite a bit it looks really good whenever you put it on i'll go ahead and equip it right now i'll go into first person to show you guys it looks pretty good here but it also looks really good on your character as a whole when using it now the other thing you use green shield bug parts for isn't exactly the parts but it's actually right here the super gas arrows uses super stink sack in order to make them and this is an arrow that creates an extremely powerful stink cloud so it's more powerful than your standard stink arrows that you can make your gas arrows and it actually makes three of them instead of two of them per but you will need splinter arrows in order to make them so guys that is what you're going to need green shield bugs for this is in a fantastic challenge for you to go out and fight them for you guys to go and find more of them and see if you could take them all down to start making yourself some super gas arrows which by the way those will really help you guys when doing the end game battles and when you guys are fighting the black widow spiders and also the praying mantis but thank you guys all so much for watching this one if you guys liked it hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one